hey welcome to tech hawk again uh, today i am going to draw this v block clamp uh, for the beginners it will help you to practice solidar software so uh, let's start uh, i'm i'm going to use this drawing as a reference so first of all we are going to create a new part and then i'm going to take front plane and sketch here and then first of all i i want to draw this side and mirror that side so to do that take line command from here click here and click first point as this and make a vertical line okay now I, with smart dimension this line is 3 minus 0.625 minus 0.82 this from here to here is 3 and from here to here is 0.82 this is the radius of the circle and from that point to that point is 0.625 so our length from this point to this point is going to be this so click ok same i am going to draw another line from here to here and the difference between that point and that point is 1.635 click enter okay now i will draw a circle at the midpoint okay i am going to take perimeter circle click at the smaller arrow here and you will find perimeter circle so click this point this point and another point but this point and this point should be horizontal just select the both point here together like click this point click press control button and click that point then make horizontal okay now i'm going to trim this this entity and i want to draw a center line with this center okay so we have found this portion and then I am going to draw a center rectangle center circle click circle command with this center draw a circle and by smart dimension here you see this circle is 1.07 so diameter radius is 1.07 so diameter should be 2.14 okay now what i'm going to do take a line common from here this point like this okay this should be always 90 degree okay now we are going to add some dimensions here this one should be 0.5 okay and this is 0.25 here okay 
now what we're going to do is check line command again and from this point I'm going to draw a line and from up to that point so from a smart dimension that point and our center point distance should be here we can check 0.625 and the radius that means 0 0.82 so 0 0.82 plus 0 0.625 that's all 1.45 and this portion uh, is half of this 0 0.625 so select this Okay, 0.625 divided by 2. Right? So now we are going to trim some entities. Click on the trim. Trim this. Also trim this. Also this. Okay, later we will trim all of this. also this one right now take fillet and click this corner point and fillet radius should be 0 0.44 0 0.44 okay click ok ok we are almost done click ok just take mirror entities mirror about this this line and now we are going to select the entities we are going to mirror also this smaller one this one click ok oh i i forgot to mirror this point this line because I have already trimmed it though I shouldn't trim this no, not. okay Should be 0.5 okay 0.5 next root okay now we are going to make a hole on this surface click sketch just right button click sketch and take normal view here and draw a circle this difference between this point and this point should be 0 0.625 divided by 2 and this point and that line should be 0.25 because I want it in the middle in the midpoint and the diameter should be 0.25 ok exit sketch now extruded cut up to next right click ok so this this is all this is our v block clamp ok here it is so thanks for watching i hope it helps you